two, three. All right, Ali. This what's up, man. Awesome conversation. Oh, I can talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. can talk all day, baby. I that's, can talk all day. That's what's up, man. So you say you was uh so you say you you what, third generation. So you you do you do you have and you said you're a mom of teenagers. How how many kids? I have two daughters. Oh, okay, okay. There are are you still with are you still with their father and what they father say about you getting into trucking? Um, me and their dad were married for years. I got married when I was nineteen. Mm-hmm. Um, young, dumb, and stupid. Uh, me and their dad aren't together anymore. We've been separated in twenty twelve. I have been single. I am a, a a narcissistic single person. I can't stand people long enough to deal with your bullshit. So I tend to be by myself. So you, so people, wait, you, you say you sing, have you filed for, have, have you guys filed for a divorce or y'all just, oh, y'all just legally? Yeah, we've been divorced since oh. 2012. Oh, okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's been a minute, but my ex-husband actually has a, a seizure disorder. A what? So, um, a seizure disorder. A seizure disorder. Yeah, which is basically... He has seizures because he will get oh. stressed out. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. What was the what, so his what body was, gets stressed? What I mean, what was the, what I mean? Y- y'all been married for you know for a long time. What was and the, he cheated on me and I wouldn't stick around. Oh man. Okay, let me ask you this. It was it was one of those things where it was one of those things where. Okay, I'm a white woman from the south. Okay. Who grew up to marry a black man that I was never supposed to be with? My family's bullshit to begin with. So um, my husband's from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, he met at a Walmart one wait, night. Wait, 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 you you yes. you was a white woman from the south, okay, and you yes, uh-huh. and and you met a black man from Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. How yes, how sir. did y'all how did y'all two come to connect? I mean, you you all the um, way in North Carolina, and he's all the way up in Baltimore. What y'all connected online or or what? No, he actually was going to school in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I happened to walk into the Walmart that he worked at at night. Okay. And one thing led to another. At Walmart? And, um, at Walmart. Okay. I well, ended up uh, giving him my phone. Number. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you work, you, you at Walmart. Okay. Uh-huh. You, 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 you went to Walmart, Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh-huh. You chilling. You, you happen to walk in. And 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 see this and, and see this guy doing some what some stock or something like that. What? Who, yep, he was stocking sales. Who who initiated <laughs> who initiated the conversation? You or him? Him, him, very much so. Him, and um, I ended up getting his number that night, and then we ended up going to the movies like three days later, and then after that, I think I moved in with him two weeks after that. God and damn, that was married. quick. We got married in three months. What are you talking about? God <laughs> damn. Wait. I mean, that was, yeah, wow. It's, wait, it's, wait a minute. Hold up, now. hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Now, hold up. You, you, you met this man one week, moved in with him the next week, and then got married to him three months later? Yes, sir. So it was that serious, okay. that, that serious love at first sight. That quick. Well, I mean, okay, I can't say you can't put it all on one person. I definitely followed him around, right? But he, everybody blames it on the female that like we were the ones pushing to it. No, he proposed to me in the middle of Walmart <laughs> because that's where we met. Wow. When he proposed to me, he proposed to me in the middle of Walmart with everybody standing around. So no, it was it was him definitely pushing for it. But we come from completely different families to where I came from the 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 white people out in the sticks. I don't know how else to say it. We was not supposed to do that. Where he 
came he, he came from his family didn't like white people. I didn't know black people was as racist as white people was. I swear <laughs> for God. I did not know this shit. I thought it was just us. And like the old the old white people we paid attention to the ones we need to put in the home somewhere because they're stupid. Wow. But, but but no, let me tell you why I say this, because me and his mother got into it one time. Mm-hmm. And his mother made the comment that when white people get wet, we smell like dogs. And I have never been able to give, give that shit up. It, 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 not only did it break my heart in the moment because somebody thought I stunk. So it's like, I wash my ass every day, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. But it was like, it was seeing it from the other side, from his side too. Like, y'all get the same shit we do. And I didn't know that. I did not know that. So when me and him got married, no, nobody liked it. Now, my immediate family showed up. My mother was there. My sisters were there. But my extended family, no. My aunt wow. Sissy, she bought my crib. But other than that, like, my extended family really had nothing to do with me. So he, so years later, uh, dare, I, I, dare I say that there was cracks in the in the relationship, in the marriage. So years later, down the line, he he stepped outside of his marriage and cheated on you. So how did you how did you find out that he cheated on you? It was it was one of those things that when I had very first when we had very first got married, he worked and um, I worked too. Then I ended up getting pregnant with our first daughter, and then not soon after getting pregnant with our second. And he was one of those ones that just like I did felt like I needed to be at home. So um, after that, uh, we ended up getting him. I ended up going back to work when my youngest was like two, two and a half, going three. Uh, he he got a job doing security work. And at that time, I was a manager of deep place. I made more money than he did. And for some reason, that was an issue. I'm not quite sure why. Mm-hmm. Um, so m- money tend to come up. It wasn't the lack of money that was the issue. It was me making more than he did. And and with that, I can't say, which is me being honest, I can't say that me as a woman, because I made more money, I wanted more say. So I started pushing more than I had ever pushed before. If I'm paying for it, this is the way it's going to be. Right. And right. that became an issue with him. Right. That and, some men feels some men feels that way because you know you guys you guys get that little you know that little bit of you know that little bit of power and that power rush. I'm yeah. not even. I had it. I yeah. had it. You, you, guys, get that, you, guys, get that you guys get that. You guys get that little bit of. You guys get that little bit of power, and especially if you feel like you you know you bringing home you you bringing home the bread, you know he can't he he kind of like feels inadequate like oh, okay well, you, you make exactly. it, you, and i definitely i definitely pushed it i i, I was young so that that, that that probably could have could have triggered that definitely him. helped downfall of the relationship yeah, that, that probably could have triggered so him into doing what he did i can't sit here and blame it all on him was i there, added to it was there what was yeah. there way back then that you guys was able to you know, to at least try to work it out. I mean, I know you guys is divorced now, but back then when it was all going on, was it one of you guys just say, look, let me, you know, look, honey, I I apologize or whatever, whatever, and let's come back to the table and see if we can work it out. Was was it something like that happen? What happened? Or I think you, that you that just... happened for a couple years. Before okay. he ever actually stepped out to begin with, we had already had issues. Okay. So it wasn't perfect. We got married really quickly. That that's right, the thing right. I always Three heard. months. <laughs> we did not know Y'all didn't know who, each other. We did not know who the other one was. We knew right. what we had been told and that's what we thought it was gonna be. It was then after that what we had been told actually turned into a real person with feelings and they didn't necessarily do what they were told. So like it, it become that where me, I believe in the old way of what a relationship should be. The man is the head of the household, right. but men, men these days don't understand what that shit entails. 
So my thing is, is if you don't trust in the head, then you have to take over. That's what the fuck we got going on now. So, but Allie, but how, I, I trust how did you ability. how how did you actually find out? That he was cheating. I mean, did you like? Did you caught him with the other woman, or he came a out Mother's and told Day you? Card, a Father's Day card. A Father's Day. It was Day Father's card. Day. Yep, she gave him a Father's Day card, and I found it, and I read it, and when I read it, the shit it said coming wow. from a friend was not coming from a friend. This was no friend. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He, 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 he must have see. <laughs> Us men, you, you know, because I, you know, I, 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 I had my bout with with cheating. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You know, my, my, uh, my ex-wife, she, you know, she found out through, uh, she found out through, uh, the iPhones. You know, my, uh-huh. <clears throat> my, my, you know, her phone. You know, like back then, I used to upgrade my own phone, and the phones that I used to have, I used to pass it down to, you know, pass it down to her. You know, so at one point, I had the iPhone 4 and I had the iPhone 6, not realizing that my my iCloud or whatever account was still attached to the iPhone 4. Oh. So yep. all of my texts that I was getting. All of my texts and everything was coming to me and to her. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's how that's how she find out. See, us men, it is true. Us men don't have a good way of of, of hiding our shit. Our shit always seems to come out in the forefront, no matter how hard we try. There's gonna always mean, there's there's I gonna do, always really be. Huh? I, I don't think it's men. I really don't think it has anything. No, to do with no, 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 no. It's it, it it's the man. It's it's the man because it's see, not. It's no, it's not. the no, it's the man because like I said, we can't hide our shit. We can't do it as well as women can. Like you know, like when when everything came to the head between me and you know me and my wife, I kind of knew what was going on with her. I just. I just ignored them. Failed to realize or one, not want to see it. And exactly. I just ignored it and not want to see it. But when it came to me, she saw it. And especially when it came to a head when she saw the, the, the text messages and stuff like that. So, yeah, men has a tendency of not hiding their shit well. So. See, this is something that we're going to have to talk about, like as a whole topic, because I could talk about it for a fucking hour. Is drivers, specifically male or female, the shit that we tend to do? Because I could go on for hours for this shit. Men drive. Everybody portrays a man driver as a whore, and to be honest with you, it literally is a person by person basis. But oh yeah, for sure. I feel like drivers. Period. Okay, so. We tend to be by ourselves all day long, right? Exactly. Okay, so we tend, and this is from a female's perspective, because I do the shit, and this is why it's very hard for me to date another driver, for the simple fact that I have such the ability to clock your bullshit, it's unreal. Okay, so I, you, if you can't be on the phone with me all day, it's an issue, because I know you drive, then... I also know how easy it is to have multiple relationships with multiple fucking people because it becomes a thing of I'm bored and I'm driving. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm bored and I'm driving. So what do I have to fill my boredom? I can listen to some TV. I can listen to some. So I can, I can't necessarily watch anything. Mm -hmm. So it becomes to talk to people. So, okay. Who do I have to talk to? There's only so much I can be on the phone with whatever truck driver I know because they're either going to sleep or doing their own thing. Okay, so then I have my relationship at home, which is what it tends to be. I'm going to be on and off the phone with them all day long. Then it becomes a thing of, I know you are available to talk between 8 and 4. 
I know this person is available about between five and nine. Mm-hmm. I know this person works third shift and they are available to talk between the hours of one and six in the morning. Mm-hmm. So it's, I'm going to build a relationship with the first person, then the second person, then the third person. But I'm a different person on the phone to each of these people. And I actually am in real life because I'm not letting each of these people know that there is a, a real life involved because it's nothing but on the road for me. And all I do is drive most of the time. So it's a talking conversation. And it's all what uh, if so and one day and not actually like in real life. But then you, what nobody tends to realize is you build feelings and relationships for each of these people. And then everybody wonders why you think back on like when you hear these old stories of older truck drivers of, like, why they have, like, multiple wives and, like, six fucking people waiting on them. It was because this one could talk in the morning and this one could talk at night. That was all it was. That's what's up. That's what's up. So when I came through this area, I was with this one. And when I came through this area, I was with this one. You know, that's 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 what it is sometimes, sometimes, man. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Well, thank you, man. This, uh, again... This is a awesome conversation, man. Uh, thank you for sharing a little bit of your life with us, right quick, man. And uh, and definitely we can uh, we can definitely come back uh, on another topic if you like. Just uh, just reach out to me. You got my number. You uh, you got my number. So uh, just reach out to me. Say you know, lock out, man. I got something to talk about, and I'm like, okay, let's let me uh, go ahead and start it, and we'll get it going. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, you stay safe uh, wherever you at right now. You stay safe, and uh, and uh, definitely uh, definitely keep them doors locked, man. We we don't need we don't need the same situation that that happened to you in in uh, St. Louis. So definitely stay safe. And I am a fan of your TikTok. So definitely. Well, I appreciate it. Not a problem. Not a problem.